So today we will be doing this makeup tutorial. It's a smoky eye, but we are not using any black, unless you count the eyeliner. But other than that, we're not using very dark colors. We're using kind of a lighter smoky eye with a little bit of color in it, just so you can wear this around your family during the holidays, because I know that there are some people that don't like like really dark makeup, and especially not around their family members. So hopefully this will be a look that you can wear around your family members. Also, look at my nails, look at my nails. I never thought I would ever get my nails like this, these stiletto nails. To me, they look more like claws, like, I feel like that's what they look like on me. Uh, they were inspired by Nikki Guerrero, and or Nicole Guerrero. She rocked the bottom red tips or whatever, and I absolutely loved them on her, so I had to do it myself. So, I don't know, what do you guys think about my nails? Yes, no, maybe so. Anyways, yeah, so you guys will also notice there is a background change, and that is because I switched the room around to have more room to film and stuff like that. So hopefully it won't stay like this forever. Hopefully I can get something cuter in the background. But for now, that is how it's going to be. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, I'm just going to take this e.l.f. Eye Primer. I got this at Target yesterday, and... This is going to be my first time using it. It smells really, really weird. I don't really like the scent of this. I would I don't know. I'm sure there's other primers that you can get because this one smells really, really weird. But anyway, we're going to drag that across the entire lid and also underneath the eye. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my finger to blend this out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take this e.l.f. brush. And this is the blending eyeshadow brush. This is only a dollar. And I'm going to take Milani's Baked Eyeshadow in I Heart You. She looks like this. It's a very pretty reddish, pinkish color. I can't even describe it, but it's beautiful. And I'm just going to pack that onto the e.l.f. brush. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to put this directly into my crease. Remember, just use small circular motions to kind of blend it out. Windshield wiper motions to put pack on the color. I'm just going to use this L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in, in, in black. I was going to say noir. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it across my lash line. Really close to the lash line. And I'm also going to tight line and drag this on my lower lash line. On my waterline. And I'm also going to drag this a little bit underneath to really blacken that lash line up, really darken it. And this does not have to look neat at all. I look crazy right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take my finger and blend this out. And we'll just use that as a base for our darker color. You can skip this step if you feel like it'll make it a little too dark for you. You can completely skip it. Now I'm just going to take this e.l.f. brush, it's the Professional Eyeshadow Brush, and this one came out in the Holiday Collection a, a couple months ago, um, but any e.l.f. like shadow brush will do, or any drugstore shadow brush will do. I'm going to take this 24-hour Infallible L'Oreal Color in Smoldering Plum, and it's a very deep purple color. I'm just going to pack this color onto our brush and tap off the excess. I'm going to pat this onto our lids to get a really nice dark color. And as you get closer to the crease, pat it a little bit lighter so you don't get as, as much concentration of the color in your crease. I'm also going to drag this color onto the bottom lash line. Now I'm going to go back to that e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to blend this color into our crease color. Just make sure to wipe it off between blending so not to spread too much product all over the eye. I'm going to go back into that I Heart You color and I'm going to reapply that a little bit because I'm losing a little bit of the concentration of that. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush and this is the eyeshadow brush but this one's kind of a little bit more angled than the other one. And I'm going to take this color by CoverGirl, and this is called French Vanilla. And I'm going to add that right underneath our brow bone. 
And I'm going to go ahead and blend this down into the I Heart You color with the same brush. And then without any product on there, you can just kind of blend out the harsh lines on the side and the bottom of your eye. And I'm also going to use that French Vanilla color as the inner tear duct highlight. So just go ahead and wipe off any excess makeup that may have fallen down onto your cheeks. And I'm just going to use this Fabo Liner by Jordana. And I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do a very small cat eye. So now you just want to go ahead and curl your lashes. And the mascara that I'll be using today is this Maybelline XL X, double XL Pro Volume and to be honest with you guys I do not like this mascara it does not do what it claims it actually makes my lashes really really thin and just long but I wouldn't recommend this mascara to anyone so once you've applied your mascara you can move on to the rest of your face and I'll be using Revlon's Photo Ready Concealer in medium and I actually really do like this concealer. I bought it in a sale and I'm so glad I did because it actually really works for me. So I'm going to apply that right underneath my brow, my brow bone, right underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my chin because you guys see pimples. So we're just going to add that a little bit on my forehead. I look crazy. And this just helps brighten up your face. I'm just going to use the Soho Beauty Blender to, well it's not a beauty blender, it's called a beauty sponge. And I'll be using that to blend this out. Now I'm just going to take my Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream, and this is in the color medium, and I'm just going to use my beauty blender to apply that. To warm up my face, I'm just going to use this Goddess Bronzer by Wet n Wild. I'm going to take this brush, this is from Essential Beauty. And I got this one at Ross, and I'm just going to use this to contour my face. With the same brush, I'm just going to use this e.l.f. blush, and this is called Candid Coral. looks like this. Mine is all, I don't know why my makeup always tends to break on me, but it gives a very nice shine and healthy glow to your skin. Now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Natural Blend Press Powder, and this is in Buff. And I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender again and actually apply this with my Beauty Blender. Um, just because I like the effect it gives. So to finish off the look, I'm just going to use this lipstick by Revlon. This is called Airy Fairy. And it looks like this. It's like a pinky nude color. You could leave it like this, but I'm actually going to use this Revlon Color Burst. Um, lip gloss in rose petal and I'm just going to top it off and this is a completed look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you try it out for the holidays it's actually you know not too dark to be around your family members I know that some people feel kind of weird using really dark makeup around their family members but I feel like this isn't too dark and I think that it'll suit a lot of people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, bye.